if you have, for example, a listing of the, the names, ages, and occupations of the members of any club, right? Like, what, what, what value do those, do those things have? Well, I guess you, if, if, obviously, first of all, if you were looking through, you see what, what kind of people are joining us, what social economic group is joining, you know, are they similar age, are they similar occupational, uh, or maybe income levels? You know, uh, so you can certainly get from get that from that kind of membership list. Uh, that information is being kept, so you can kind of as a historian look through and say, oh, you know, maybe work been uh, joined this club, uh, and then you can say, okay, well, what what attracted them to this particular club or something like that? I mean, the Great Western Lodge, you know, that was obviously that was part of the railroad, so you're a railway employee. Um, uh, an example of a professor I had many years ago when I was in grad school, uh, he provided an example. In the Guild University, they had boxes and boxes of little parking tickets. And they asked the archivist at McGill University, did they want them? And the McGill the archivist said, no, it's just a lot of scrap paper, basically. And it got out to one of the sociology professors at McGill saying, oh, I wish you'd kept those records. And he's saying, what for? What do you need old parking stub tickets for? Uh, like the, you know, violations and things like that, parking violations. He says, well, you could have, I could have just studied and seen what type of people got parking violation. You know, was it somebody drove expensive cars and basically with something in their nose at paying to park their car? Or was it somebody driving a crappy car that couldn't afford to pay to park and things like that? So, I mean, you don't think of what a piece of information could provide to somebody else. So you, you think it's garbage and somebody else thinks that's a treasure trove of information they could have extrapolated from that you know, that piece of